Hi everyone, this is just a, a pre-introductory one for the next three episodes on this channel. Um, the first one is about the solar again. Uh, we're How many days are we now? I'm coming up to retirement, so that's why I'm a little bit... There's a lot of things going on, work, home and everything. Uh, desperately trying to get things in place. We're... First week in April, or just gone the first week in April, and the 2nd of May, I'm on the ferry to come into Portugal for six weeks. So I've got a lot to do. Um, Dan has been struggling to get to me with the solar setup, but he is finally here now, and we're going to get it finished. This first of the three episodes is going to be about the wiring of it. Um, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, those who are interested will watch it, those that won't will flick through it and, and uh, Try and find something of interest in it but i need a full explanation of it uh, for my own purposes if something goes wrong at the other end there because i'm not that au fait with any of that so i've really got to go through it meticulously to understand what's going on with it so it might be a bit boring you can always flick past it um, the second one will be the plumbing side of it again uh, and then the third one or possibly the second one, I might even switch them round a bit because I've got footage to, to show on both of them, but I want to make it sensible if I possibly can. Other things that's been going on, we've had an issue with the van, um, with the window, it decided to have a crack in it. We've had auto glassing and got that repaired. So that was another hundred pound that I didn't really want to spend, but it's done with now. Uh, the wiring's done okay. The sat nav, which I had for it isn't working on the, the reversing cameras so we're having problems with that but we've ordered another one and Phil my good friend Phil who does everything for me where the van's concerned uh, is waiting on that one to turn up and then he'll get that one fitted I don't mind the van being out of the way at the moment because um, it's round Phil's out of the way uh, it, it, it's a bit big for down our street so I, I don't like it being down here anyway um, so it's out the way, it's been done, uh, by the end of this week we've got Dan coming back next Saturday and hopefully complete the solar because if he doesn't I've got big issues time wise to get everything else done. I've got to get the solar stripped down again and put in the back of the van and then add the van away to be weighed to work out what storage I've got in the back. Um, I'm limited with my weight over there, but I'll explain that a bit more as we go along. If not on this this one, certainly on the next one, because like I say, this one's a fairly long one. Um, but that's where we are with it at the moment. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please like and subscribe. Put comments down. Um, always welcome comments because I'm going into a lot of these projects blind or desperate for information. Um, that's why you'll hear me talking a lot on these videos when I've got an expert there like Dan, he's been ever so good, same as Phil was ever so good explaining things, what he was doing on the van. Um, so we're going to leave it at that now, thanks thanks for looking, um, hopefully we'll catch up again in another week's time or there might even be one midweek if, I'm, if I can get it done. I'm having a few days off work now so although I'm going at the end of April, I have got with the bank holidays and a few spare days here and there. I've only got about nine working days left from now. Uh, so it will allow me, although it seems fairly soon and the inevitable, um, I will have quite a few spare days to get some of these jobs done. So I'm hoping, it's all about timing. I'm hoping I've got it all right. It could be a disaster where everything could drop into place. I'm sure it will do. Keep faith um, and we'll talk to you another day. Thanks for watching once again. I'll cut these sensors down, I'll leave them so you've got plenty on Yeah, yeah. Field. I can always curl them up, can't I?
You have to keep your fingernails at a certain length then, Dan, to do that job, don't you? I do, really. <laughs> can't have them too short, can't have them too long. <laughs> you don't need any pliers to pull the, the last of the wire off, do you? The, the plastic off, do you? I've, there's a technique there, I can see. I've got my mate in the van. I've, I've managed to get him on board again to, uh, this weekend. I've, I've took the truck down to him. He's uh, fitting me my uh, me sat nav and my cameras. Oh, lovely. So I've got a good. Uh, I was panicking a little bit with. It's obviously time was ticking by with me. Um, but I've managed to get you here and get to the other man going. It's making life a little bit less panicky for me at the moment because I, I started doing a, a list of things I need to do before I go and. I, I've got pages of it. I thought, bloody hell, have I got that much to do yet? <laughs> don't quite realise, do you? Not well, uh, the problem is, I, I'm one that, uh, with my brain thought, is always try and do them in order, but sometimes you you can't do it in order, so you've got to get on with some of the other bits while you're waiting, if you get what I mean. Because uh, I can't weigh the van without this stuff in it, really. So I can't organise how the van being weighed yet. And I thought I don't want to do it all happening all in one go, so I'm going to be, in, I'm going to get in a mess with it all. But when things like this are happening, and, and him doing the van for me, I think well, once he's done the van's done, there's a big pressure off. The other bits are, are fairly straightforward. The rest of it should just come together. Yeah, yeah, it should. And it's about timing. I don't want to have it all done five minutes, uh, five weeks before a go, and I don't want it all done rushing about in the last five minutes. If you get what I mean, so it, it's hard to sort of work it work it in properly i'm hoping i'm doing it in the right order and the right you see it ain't just me i've got to sort out things like my my old boy make sure they're all right and andy the electrician that he's got everything in place as well there's a lot to organize really when you think about it isn't it? yeah yeah i mean originally i was just going to go off there on my own for six weeks but um and just get on with what i could but with three people being there. Um, morning. morning, right? Uh, three people being there out the six weeks. A, I've got some company, and B, there's some input as well, there's isn't some there? Manpower there, haven't yeah, you? yeah. So I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite pleased really that, that I've got some of it company. I did enjoy my own company. I must admit, last time because I just cracked on with it. I, I want under any orders from anyone, or I could do what I want. And I was getting up early in the morning and working fairly late at night. But I was chuffed with what I was getting on with. It's that uh, sense of self-satisfaction, isn't it? Oh, it definitely, definitely. I, I, when I finished there that time, I thought to myself, for the small amount of time here, I've seen such a big improvement of when I opened the door to start with, and Kaz will see that as well. It'd be even more so, because I, I shall have another six weeks' worth of work done on it. And, you know, it, their last memories of it was just this mucky old dusty old building with no electric or anything in it you know but now it's getting more civilized each time we go um and i really like i say i'd, I'd like to get the bedroom and the bathroom really nice so that at the end of the muck and the, the shit of the day you can like, have, have a scrub up and hopefully be able to sit outside and feel clean for one thing yeah it, 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 i'm not bothered now at this stage I, like i say i can i can quite easily make do with uh, strip washes and things like that. I mean, you can, we could go into the the town and have a night's um, a night's kipping and have a beer at the, in Castello Branco. And I think it's about ten ten quid a night, and there's a clean bed and shower there, sort of thing. So one night I might decide if I'm feeling a bit grubby and treat yourself. Treat myself. Yeah, if, I if I ain't got a decent amount. I mean, Kenny he used to he used to lay out a bloody house pipe of water. And it, you know, when he turned it on, if you was quick, you could get a reasonable shower out of that. But I don't like the shower get suddenly going from scalding hot to freezing cold. No, it doesn't uh, catch you off guard yeah, a little bit, does yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I must admit, I do like I do like to be in control of the shower temperature. <laughs> I mean, in lock country, even even in lock country, you, you, I tend to slowly turn it down you can sometimes come out the, the shower with it running cold but i can't jump in with it freezing cold it to uh, end up getting shock this old ticker ain't as strong as it used to be <laughs> <laughs> the 
the temple because the go and cold water swimming in there on a regular basis. I couldn't do that. No, I couldn't. There's, oh, you get such a buzz out of it. I think, well, I'll get that same sort of buzz when I've gone for a, a run. It, it's all about getting your body really hot and, and then when it cools down, but there's in a reverse of that, isn't it? They're slowly warming up and feeling the glow. <laughs> So obviously when I disconnect things to, for getting them over there and whatnot, we leave that box totally down and we have to disconnect from the other end or, or get something close to it. Uh, you could pull each sensor out. Yeah, and that'll free that, leave that box where it is basically. Leave that then. box where it is and then... Just mark it so I know where, yeah. once it's here it goes. Um, wiggle these sensors out and keep all your sensors together, but oh, they'll all be labelled for where they've got. To yeah, ah, that's good. Uh, yeah, that's all I was worried about at the moment because I'm. We shan't lose where they're from. No, we shan't. That's all the sensors are. I'm obviously leaving all your yep. lead just for testing. That's all. Right. So at this point, we're censored. We're wired up with the sensors on this side. Yeah. Yeah. Controller just to refit. Yeah. Back up there, and then I'll have a pump lead to do, and then a, a live supply to do. But I'll put that on a plug. Right, yeah. Well, the electrics are and starting to take Another idea. As oh, yeah. Well. Yeah, let me. Well, we needn't bother with a header tank for this for oh. testing. Right. We'll put a hose pipe connection in the bottom off oh. the mains. And yeah. We'll fill it with the mains and turn the mains off. Oh. This is full. Leave the top open with the pipe coming down. So the, uh, oh. Set it to heat up. And as it heats up, you'll see it will slowly trickle because the water yeah. inside is expanding. expanding. And, yeah. And then we can turn the hose pipe back on and it should chuck all that hot water out. And that'll be really? the best oh. way to test it. Hey, that sounds fun. <laughs> Instead of faffing about trying to make a head of tank up and fill a head just, of tank and do yeah, it that way, yeah. just use the mains just to fill it. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I've got we've got a pipe over there, Perfect. so so we can. Hey, that's good. That'll be the best way to do it. He's, he's, the old he's, man give me that idea. He's a clever so, man. This, he's a clever this, man. He's a clever man. Bless. Oh, right, and if if it saves a bit of time and aggro as well, it's, it's uh, much much quicker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, excellent. Right, that's. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm feeling more pos. Four core. Put the four core out. Mounted up. Three core and getting wide to the pump. Now I'll leave an end ready for a plug. Yeah. Because I won't pair it up or no. turn it on until this is full of water. Yeah. And that's full of water. So that way when it strikes up, it's not. Well, that, that'll be with having some sun on it. Is that working already in theory? Well, Basically, film near enough all of it and just cut the bits out that are slow going or not needed. Ready for the next bit. <laughs> the next bit's just a case of opening the box, sort of trimming them out, making all of my sensor connections inside it. Yeah. Because I'll have all my links anyway. So all it'll be is a case of sensors going in one side, and then my four cores that's going to wire back to the controller, which is in the van, and then that'll wire back into the controller. Okay, okay. right. Okay. You go and you go to your office. <laughs> I shan't I shan't disturb you while talking because you obviously need to be concentrating. <laughs> We've got that right. She's recording. Yep. Right. So just to explain again for me, please, Dan, this top pro this top sensor here. Yep. Is your flow sensor. Yep. It is. Sensor top. across the other side. And then this one is dangling down here. That's your return sensor. So it reads the differential between 
your water temperature going, going in, in. Yep. and your water temperature going out and gives you a, a, a mean average across to see how efficient the solar right, is. Yep. Yeah. You have two on your cylinder as well, a top and a bottom. Bottom tells you how cold the bottom of the cylinder is. Yep. And not where the coil is. So water that will, rises. So that will always be colder. So that one's going to be the top. And that one it? will be your top, and that will tell you how hot the water is in the top of the cylinder. And that will if trigger off. If you really off. wanted to get experimental with it, you could fit a blowdown pump on this. Right. So it would mix the two values together. So oh, it's from the hot back into the cold, and you'd have a blended mix, so all oh. of it stays at the same so, temperature. Right. Instead of having stratification for that cylinder. And which which would you think is the best system? I would say a blowdown pump. Blowdown pump. But it depends on how much water you use. Right. Well, I, I if you want to be super efficient with it, a blowdown yeah. pump would be best. But, but in it's, Portugal, it's, in Portugal, I wouldn't afford so. No, I, I think you're right there. With judging by the majority of the temperature and, and sunlight, the majority of the time. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I'm I'm not bathing and showering all day, am I? It's only at the end of the day. It depends what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the first time when it's all muck and muscle, me and the lads, mate, we're, we're going to live grufty. I can guarantee it. That's what my missus didn't go in the first time. But I want to try and get the ba bathroom sorted out so that when she does go, She's it will some. be a bit. Some, yeah, I want I want two rooms looking really nice in this six weeks if I possibly can. Um, and that's 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 my aim sort of thing. So obviously, this getting the hot water is pretty important. We're latest content. Me boiling it up in a kettle won't worry me. No, it won't worry me. I'm happy with the strip washes, but it would be nice, obviously, in a hot country to have a shower, knowing that it's efficient. Yeah, so that's good. Yeah. What we're going to do, Steve, is we're going to yeah. wire all these sensors, or all of these sensors, to a wiring centre and then take it straight back to the controller. But I'll leave plenty of lead on them, so wherever this goes in relation yep. to your cylinder, yeah, you should have enough lead. Right. What to realistically? Do they, when they're in the houses, etc., and whatnot, what sort of spacings do they put them? Do they put them? You can have them pretty close to. Pretty, they can, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Then I'll, I'll make sure that I, so I do keep them tight the because these are up in a roof. Yeah. You want to keep your header tank in the roof space, obviously, so it's in the highest point. Highest point, yeah. And your cylinder ideally wants to go on the next floor level, there, so you have some decent head. head pressure. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I'll, I'll leave you plenty of lead to be able to do it. But if you leave it close proximity, so you put your roof here, your head tank, and then your cylinder directly below it. Is that the best in layout? The same proximity. Yeah. But shorter runs, everything just runs nice and easy. Yeah, well, I can I can it do that. It, it makes it simple to install. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Because I was talking to I was talking to the electrician the other day, and he yeah. he was sort of looking at my drawings and whatnot, and he was quite intrigued with the, the water side of it and everything. And he could see where I was going with it, thankfully. Yeah. And he was doing a similar scenario with the electrics of. Again, how we want to do it. Things together, yeah. It makes it a million yeah. times easier. It does. That's good. That's good. I understand the other bit. Oh, we'll see. We've got some more wires in. That's your pump wired and the lead ready for a plug. Uh huh. That's just a normal house plug, isn't it? Yeah, that's all I'll be just doing. Just a three pin. Are they shooting out there, or is it? Bird scare by sound of it. Oh, I don't know whether they go shooting yet, is it? It's not the season, it's not the season it. I don't think it was. because all these sensors will do, I'll do one lead as a common and then the other side is a return common on the sensor side. Okay. All it wants to do is just make a circuit, that's all it does. Okay, okay. Looks for resistance in the sensors, that's all it does so yeah, it doesn't matter which way around they go, it's just... they'll always have a circuit to them. All right, gotcha.
So this is free court. I haven't got any four court in that. Right. But I will get some four court next time and just swap these over. Okay, look. Yeah, I'm just some of those going. I'm just, I, I think I've got some four core, but I've got a snake feeling it's. I took everything back to Butwick because I had all my wire here. Um, but I thought I wanted to get all my electrical bits together. So that, I'll leave that. Yeah. Because I might as well just do it in the four core and be done with it. Yeah. Rather than wiring it twice. Okay. Yeah. But I can do the pump to the controller and do the lead out ready for a plug. Okay. I'll do it that way. I shall. That makes more sense. <laughs> rather than wasting cable. Well, yeah, yeah. Then I can right. reel you off at uh, plenty of four what, core yeah. ready to go then. Okay, but yeah. Yeah, I'll do it that way, I think, Steve. Otherwise, okay. I'm just wasting cable and wasting a bit of time. No, we don't want to, we don't either of them do it really, not in this day and age. Okay. Uh... Luckily, I've already stripped this cable down. So... <laughs> yeah. Blue Peter moment For... is one I made earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. We're just looking for some sticky back plastic. <laughs> there we go. He can pop out. Trying to think, yeah. I'm trying to think why, why I needed four core. Would it have been for me to shower or something like that? Possibly. Um, I mean, I could nip on and nip on and fetch them if uh, if you want me to. It's entirely up to you, Steve. It is. Have you got enough to be getting on with while I'm? Yeah. If I'm back there and, and come back again, hopefully. Get the right stuff, and if it ain't, it don't, it don't really matter, does it? No, it don't matter because then, yeah, when I come yeah. back, I can do that. And yeah, then what we'll do when I come back next time, yeah, right, I'll fill the cylinder, make yeah. the connections up, finish this wiring off. Right, well, I'm going to stop the filming here.